Hi everyone. I'm just looking to make a quick project here because I promised I'd do something with these leaves. And just one today, I think. Oh, we did silk. We did silk paper and we embedded a few things in it and put it on a leaf skeleton. So I'm going to, I don't want that one to be quite so big, so I'm going to cut it down a wee bit. For a start. There we go. A leaf shape. Looks pretty nice as it is, but I did decide that I liked it when we only had um, bits of this uh, a skeleton on and I liked it when we took bits out so I'll be doing a little bit of that see how it separates I can just take that rip a bit out and look at that color that's coming through beautiful so that's what I would do I would take a few bits Let's scratch it, get some of that aqua through. It's really stuck here. Hmm. So something like that. I can always take more bits out. But it lets some of that colour through. I could use this side. And as I said, I've got other bits and bobs here where I've done partial bits. I could add in something. But I'm just going to use one like that. Make it simple. I've grabbed a piece of paper. Uh, if I've got a glue stick, which I can't find at the moment, I'm going to just... This is banana paper. It's pretty... Um, on this one. I've grabbed some other bits and bobs. Oh, that's nice. You may not need these things. Just looking to see, does that, those things create an interesting background? You know, that kind of thing. Mm. No, I don't think so. It's quite nice. Sure, something like that would be very pleasant. Um, that's some of this excess. Can always put it somewhere else. So what I'm thinking is that we would um, maybe use a glue stick to hold this to that, or you could use some double-sided tape to hold that down and that down. And that'd be a good start. I'm just putting it on a piece of ordinary copy paper because I feel that that is, uh, it needs a bit of body underneath. That's something to stitch through. Uh, I think I could just put that edge under there and there's an edge I don't have to worry about then. About that. Something like that. Now you might not have a leaf, but the point is that you can just put a couple of pieces of paper together, an overlay of something, you can use fabric, all kinds of different things. And it's just to have a pleasing arrangement. And then you could do a bit of stitching on it. So uh, bear with me and I'll get some threads. Right, I've gotten myself a glue stick so this is where I'm going to start. Hmm. Start putting that one down. Really, I'm just tacking it down so that it 
it's not going to come off when I want to. See, we can see how through that. That's really lovely. Um, it's not going to come off when I'm trying to hold it up and stitch through or something. So, there we are. Don't they look nice together? I think so. I'm just going to add in a bit of this because it looks nice. Where's my bit before here? I don't know that I want to glue it. Then we can just do a little delicate, delicate touch. See if it will. I don't think it will. Nah. Okay, and then we're going to have this one, one on the top. The main thing is getting that down, which I have. Okay, now you would want a needle that's not too thick because it would leave big holes and we don't want that. And you will have to stitch delicately so that don't pull too tight because what will happen is it will rip the paper. So we need to start with something. I'm just going to use whatever I see in front of me at the moment. I do like you. I like to use a bit of thick, a bit of thin, maybe a bit of shiny, I don't know. But I lost. I'm going to use whatever I see. And believe me, there's loads of <sighs> bits and pieces sitting on my table. That's quite nice, I think. I think if I possibly put that leaf on, it could hold all the rest of it at the same time. So maybe I'll start there. When you're stitching in paper, you're not going to be able to do a knot. So what I'm going to do is go underneath here and put a little piece of sticky tape there to hold that. Here we are. We're ready to go. So we wanted our gold on it somehow. And this. Is our focal point now? Do we want it straight up and down? Do we want it to a side? I quite like to the side a bit. I'm just going to start by doing a stitch down that center to hold the whole lot, and then I'll be able to pick it up easier. as well and hold that gold now I should be it's hard to tell when you're underneath where um, where to come up so I should really do the holes you do a hole 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 and then just follow it but I don't know I just like mucking around I'll do that next time. I've already started this. I can make it right. I'm just going to do some random stitches like that. It'll still hold it. And we can do the, uh, the straight stitch later. I'm going to waste my tiny bit of thread here. There. And so when I'm finished, I'm just going to cut it and put some more sticky tape over it. But now I can pick it up, you see. Now I can just do this with it, which I like. And can you see how quite simply with a focal point and, you know, three bits of whatever, we've done something nice. Now it really would not take much to make that sing. I'd quite like to look in this and think, what colours are there? One thing I'd like to expose is, can you see we, we use some of that gold? We use some of that same gold mesh that's there on, on that in this leaf. I'm just going to take some little bits out to expose a bit more.
Oh, that's a good enough start for some colours, I think. I want something, though, to go and attach that at the background. Something for the leaf. This side won't need anything, I don't think. Um, I don't know what I want there. Something. Decisions. I think I'm just going to use this variegated one. See, now I don't know what colour to use. That's a good start. So we'll start by doing stitch by stitch. Don't try and do too many at once. It's paper. It won't be difficult to pull through without ripping. But just meander up the side there. I'm just going to do a nice curvy, swirly kind of line. And uh, go up to the top and then back and back up again. Just wherever I please, meandering down there. And it looks quite good and it's holding that, that gold mesh down. I'm just going to do another little line here, but it's nearly all down. Just with those few little lines. Pretty happy. Sometimes they can cross each other. Just something very flowing and organic. Looks good. And I like how it's coming together. Now I want to do something around it and then we might pick out some of the veins and, uh, and other things. And uh, well, it's really not going to take much because this is the star of the show. So, something to go around here. Hmm. That's a good colour. Yes. Because of this aqua, I'd like to bring a little bit more aqua into it. So, how many threads have I got here? Quite a few. Split those four into two. There we go. Right, this time. I'm wanting to do that edge. I'm going to come up here. Oops. And this time I'll be more careful. So I'm going to get something soft that I can go through. And I'm just going to go, this is my line that I want to do here. And I won't be able to see it very well from the top, but that's okay. Because I'm hoping when I turn it under here, it's enough that I have a line there that I can see. Oh, come on, baby. Now you're there. Yeah, it's a bit hard from the other side. See if we've managed it. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around that whole leaf. Uh, I might even go around it twice. Sometimes on the outside I like to do. Sometimes further on the inside, but we'll just see. That's my next stage, and. Uh, We'll have a closer look now. It's looking all right. See how I've used that aqua thread and I've gone up the side, inside the edge and outside the edge. It's just added that touch that I really liked. 
um, because there was acra already in it. In fact, I'm going to use what's left on my um, needle, the thread, to just do a few long stitches here out from the central stem of that leaf out to the edge like the veins on a leaf. And as I've still got some left, I'm just going to pop over the other side and add a little touch of aqua there too. As well as adding stitching, I'm also going to scratch off some of this top um, skeleton, leaf skeleton, and expose a little bit more of that colour underneath. It's going to look like a leaf that is, hmm, rotting sort of thing, you know. Uh, I think it's going to be quite effective. Can you see what I mean? Look at that lovely mottled surface. The discoloration in that leaf. I think it's looking pretty realistic. So keep adding as much or as little stitching as you like. I wanted to bring more of that aqua colour that was already in the leaf um, to the foreground so I I added some uh, aqua threads to bring that colour out. And uh, but you you might not be using a leaf, although they are fun to make, and they are in my previous video. There are all kinds of things that you could use, uh, but it's all the same sort of thing. That um, the colour and the texture, and learning how to put things together so that it's very little really but it can look very very effective especially when you put a frame around it right well i've just about finished i've added a few more stitches um, you can see here it really did look it does look very effective and i've added in a couple of french knots there because leaves tend to have bugs and things eating them and uh, I think I think I'm done but uh, I do like it and I hope you do too and uh, don't forget if you want to see this you can see how I make those leaves in the previous video but for now I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have don't forget to press like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thank you.